it's Taryn. Welcome back to my channel. This video is a trunk club unboxing and try on. Um, I found a few gems in this box too. I feel like I say that with every like clothing subscription box that I get, but by now I've been doing these for so long that I feel like my stylists, they know. They know what I like, they know what I want, they know how much money I'm willing to spend. Um, Carson with Trunk Club is no different. If you're not familiar with Trunk Club, it's a clothing and accessory subscription box. It's a Nordstrom box. Um, I'll leave a direct link to sign up in the description box down below if you are interested. If you're not interested in signing up, I always try to find each piece that I get in a box and link it down below individually. That way, if there's something you like, you don't feel like you need to sign up for the entire box. My measurements are always down there too to give you an idea um, of what size you may think that you need. So this box, we're gonna start with shoes first. I know that's a little bit different for me. I typically start with clothes, but let's change it up. Let's do something different. So I have two pair of shoes in this box. This is the first pair. They are the brand Clark's in a size nine and a half. These fit me absolutely perfect. It's got a cute little heel on the bottom. It's funny because I have a pair almost exactly like this, this color. The heel's just a little bit different. Um, and when I wear them, I love them, but when I wear them by the end of the night, like the skin on my toe where this sits is burning. Like it almost like blisters right there. These, I didn't feel like that would happen. Obviously I didn't wear them for hours and hours to test it out. Um, I also like that these have an actual like buckle that hooks. The other ones I have are like a slide through with Velcro. So yes, they are easier to secure, but this just looks a little bit prettier in my opinion. Clark's is the brand, as I mentioned, they're super soft in there. And these are great. These are actually really comfortable. And um, I know on the app, if you download the app, you'll be able to see sale prices. So if something is on sale on Nordstrom's website or in store, you get that sale price. You don't pay full price. So I know that these bad boys are on sale. So these are called the Clark's Deloria Gia Sandal. Sand suede is the color. It says $119.95 on the slip that they sent me. But when I open the app, they have been reduced 61%. So they are $47. And I kind of feel like I need them. Next pair of shoes we have are Vans. Carson was initially going to send these to me in like a checkered, black and white checkered pattern. And I changed it on the app before the trunk arrived and opted for these white ones. How adorable are these? These are actually really comfortable. I've never tried on Vans before. I've never owned Vans before. These are in a US size nine and a half. They fit absolutely perfect. And they're such a fun, I don't know, I picture these. Remember those mom jeans that I wasn't so sure about from American Eagle? I ended up keeping them. These would be so cute with those mom jeans and just like a little white, like knotted cropped tie up tee. So that's my vision for these. I like these. So let's see if these are on sale. They are not. They're called the Classic Slip On Sneaker. True white is the color $49.95, so not a bad price. So now let's move on to clothes. I wanna start with a swimsuit. So I already know the price of this. It's super pricey. Like. Exp more expensive than I've ever spent on a single item. I'll venture out to say that, I'm pretty sure. But this is called the Miracle Suit. It says, look 10 pounds lighter in 10 seconds. Uh, Carson sent this to me in a size 22. It's got this like mesh cut out on the sides. Okay, so here's my opinion on this. I don't know if it makes me look 10 pounds lighter. Um, I mean, y'all tell me, does it? It's great quality, it feels great. Um, the back I don't think is the most flattering on me. I think that if you're gonna show, like if it's gonna be that tight anyways and you're gonna show the lumps and the bumps and the curves and all that stuff, you might as well make the back mesh as well, in my opinion. However, this is really comfortable. It fits so well and I feel very secure in it even though it is super low cut in my opinion. I feel like I'm not going anywhere. It kind of holds the girls in place. I also really love this navy color. I don't have anything that's navy. However, I did just buy um, a pretty pricey swimsuit from my Amazon Prime wardrobe haul. And then I've got a couple from Torrid that I really like as well. All right, let's find this one on the app and I'll tell you how much it is. All right, this is called the Miracle Suit is the brand. Illusionist crossover one piece suit. Midnight is the color. It's $170. Next thing is a beach cover-up. So I just put it over the swimsuit for the try-on portion. Tommy Bahama is the brand. It's in a size 2X. And it's just this white, meant to be oversized, like button-up 
shirt. I think that it's a little bit too snug for me to be considered um, a beach cover-up or a swimsuit cover-up, I guess. It's like this wrinkled effect, like it needs to be ironed, and I really like that because I feel like I could ball it up and throw it in a suitcase and it's not going to look any different when I actually put it on. Um, so I do like it. I do think, though, that I need a size larger. I tried to button it up. I showed it in the video, too, and it just pulled really, um, it just pulled in the chest area. So for my preference, a size larger, but I do like the idea of this. I think it's really pretty. So this is called the Boyfriend Shirt Cover-Up. It's $86. <laughs> So I've really been into snake print lately. If you've been watching me for a while, then you know that. So when I saw that this was an option, I jumped at the chance for it. I didn't realize that it was such like a nice top. Does that make sense? Like it's lined and it's just like such a nice material. I thought looking at it on the model on the app when I get the preview, I thought it was a little bit more of a slinky top and maybe it's meant to be and it was just too small for me. This is the brand Leaf in a size 2X. Um, it didn't fit the bust area. I mean, it fit over them, but it was tight, like really tight. But I do really like the pattern of this and the style if it fit properly. I think it would be really cute if you tucked it into, um, maybe like a pair of black denim shorts or something. So this is called the Leaf Everyday Tank Top Gray Marble Snakeskin is the print. It is $39. Now let's talk about these black joggers. I got these exact joggers in a green color a couple of boxes ago. Kept them, love them. I've never worn them, but I finally got a top that I feel like would go with them. So when I saw that the black ones were coming, I got excited because these are so soft. It's the Caslon brand, size 20, and they're just these like linen feeling joggers. They do have actual pockets in the front and in the back, and they're 100% linen. And if I'm remembering correctly, these are affordable as well. Let's see, did I just make that up? <laughs> All right, so these are called the Drawstring, Drawstring Linen Jogger, size 20, $59, so not a bad price. So this next skirt, I feel like is kind of an alternative. Last box, I think, maybe the box before that, I got this beautiful blue and white pinstripe wrap ruffle skirt full length, but I didn't keep it because I didn't really know where I would wear it to. I didn't know if it was me, if it wasn't me, if it looked good, if it didn't. So I ended up sending it back. And I also mentioned to Carson at that time, it was $105, so that was a little bit pricey for me. So I kind of feel like this is an alternative to that skirt. It's this black and white. The brand is Leith again. It's in a size 2X. It's a little bit shorter and it's a different material. That first skirt was linen. This is a high-low skirt and it is 100% rayon. I like the pattern. I don't really like the material of it and it has absolutely no stretch to it. So this is called the Leith Panel Skirt. Black Starburst is the color. It is $59. And I paired that skirt with this really cute pink top. It's the brand Treasure and Bond. It's in an extra, extra large. Um, I like the distressing aspect of this top. I think it's meant to be snug. I don't really care for snug things. Y'all know that. Um, but when I watch these videos back and edit them and stuff, I feel like snug things are more fitted things. Um, do sometimes look a little bit better. So I'll have to see how I feel about this one when I go back and edit. I do like the idea of this because it is snug tucked into something. Say you had a pair of like high-waisted jeans or even those mom jeans, just something um, a little bit looser on the bottom and you wear something a little bit bigger on the or a little bit snugger on the top. Like this might could be cute with those black joggers because they are a little bit Lucy goosey you know what I'm saying? So this is called the Treasure and Bond Marled Tea Pink Silver Heather. It's $39. I got a lot of things in this box. 15 items. 15. I have some accessories too. We'll get to less. All right. So then I also got this like wrap top Treasure and Bond one size. It's 100% linen. It's white, but I don't know if it's an actual... Maybe it is like a true white. I got one of these in black maybe in my last box. I don't know if these are me. I like the white one better than I liked the black one. I think this is way more summery, like for vacation. Again, y'all can tell I'm excited for our vacation. Um, but this is cute just to throw on over like a tank top and a pair of shorts for dinner or something when you do have a little bit of a sunburn and you don't want to really get chilly, but it's hot outside, so you don't want to take a full on like hoodie into a restaurant. So I do think this is pretty. Again, I don't think it's me. This is called the Treasure and Bond Linen Ruana. $59. This next one is meant to be like a night shirt that you sleep in. It's the brand Make and Model in a size 2X. 
if I'm gonna sleep in it, I want it oversized, like baggy oversized. So I would like this in a size, maybe even a size or two larger. But I also think that you could wear this out because it was super short on me. So pair it with some bike shorts and those white vans and you've got a super cute outfit. I do like this little bit too on the sleeve that cuffs. However, in my experience, these, if you're going to wash and dry them, you're gonna have to iron them. And I don't like to have to do that. I would just, I would rather it fix itself in the dryer and me not have to iron them. So I find that tops that do have that cuff, I tend to not wear them as often because I have to take time to iron them. So this is called the Slumber Party Night Shirt, size 2X, Coral Mob, it's $35. Okay, I've got two pieces of clothing left and then we've got one, two, three accessory type items. This top is the brand One State, it's in a size 2X. This is different and it surprised me because I actually really, really liked it. It's this like high neck with a keyhole cutout, flutter sleeve, black top. I think this would be perfect for work in the cooler months because it is black. I don't know, this just fit perfect. I mean, I would like it a little bit longer, but this was so comfortable and so soft. It is 100% polyester for reference, so I do like it. I don't know how much it is, but I do like it. So this is called the Keyhole Flutter Sleeve Blouse, size 2X, $79. And the last piece of clothing I have is a pair of these like chambray shorts. Castellan is the brand, size 2X. I love these kind of shorts because they look like denim shorts, but they don't feel like denim shorts. Like they're very breathable, very like flowy and easy to walk in and stuff. These are a little snug on my lower stomach area, but I don't know if a 3X would look a little baggy in the back of the legs. Like you'll see me turn around in the try on portion. Um, so I do like them. I just don't know if they look the best on me. It may be because they are a little bit snug, but I love this idea. This is just like so cute with a pair of sandals. I got a couple comments from people saying they appreciate that I think outfits out in my head. If I don't, I just end up with a gazillion tops and I don't know what to pair them with. So I've got to think of a purpose for something before I actually end up buying it. So these are called the Chambray Drawstring Short Size 2X, $49. So now let's talk accessories. I added this in my cart. There's a new section you can do for Trunk Club where you can pick some accessories to add. So I added this one. It's just this treasure and bond one size, like blue, like light wash denim looking baseball cap. I have a lot of baseball caps. I wear them a lot, but all of the ones I have have some sort of like emblem or pattern or something on them. So when I saw this plain one, I thought, why not try something plain you can wear this with a lot of different things and this is really nice quality too it's got this um kind of hook in the back where you can adjust it so it's called the canvas baseball cap it's 19 bucks which is kind of on on the same scale as other hats i mean it depends on what the emblem says on the hats but you can pay anywhere from 15 to like 30 bucks for a hat i also added this leopard print skinny belt so i had one Probably last year I ended up selling it on Poshmark. I got it from Lane Bryant on sale, but it was just too big. Like the smallest hole wouldn't fit around where I wanted to wear it. So I grabbed this one. Halogen is the brand. It's in a size 2X and it fits perfect. I don't know if I need it. Like what do you wear these with? Like could you wear this with like black high-waisted skinny jeans, put your belt in there, and then wear like a little tank top and tuck the front in or something? I don't know. I need some help with this one. Help me decide how I pair this. When I'm not sure, I usually just go to Pinterest and type in whatever clothing item or accessory that I have, and then it brings in all the pictures, but I do like this. So this is called the Square Keeper Belt, size 2X, leopard print, $35. And the very last thing I have are these earrings. How fun. So these are called the Bobble Bar Contessa Tassel Earrings. They're $38. They're fun, they're pretty. They would be really cute for vacation. I'm pretty sure that I added these to my cart too from that accessory section on the app. The only thing, I know they're great quality and I know they're super cute, but Walmart has these like big tassel earrings. You can get them for like three and four dollars. Yes, they're not going to last you as long as something like this would, but then again, I also feel like these are more like costume type jewelry. Like I can't wear these every other day. Like people would know that I'm wearing these the same earrings all the time. So that's kind of why I'm hesitant to spend the almost 40 bucks on these earrings when I could get something similar um, from like Walmart for a fraction of the price. 
These are pretty. So now that you've seen everything in this box, it was a big one. It was a big haul. So what I'm thinking of keeping is the hat. I know that I would wear that and it's super cute. The black joggers, I know that I would wear those too. I know I haven't worn the green ones yet, but now that I have a clear idea of what to pair them with, I think that I'll actually end up wearing them a lot more. Um, let's see, I'm just scrolling through the app. Oh, the two pair of shoes. The Vans, the white Vans, and then those heeled Clarks, I think are great pieces to have. I could keep the Clarks and get rid of the other ones that I have that hurt my foot because I don't need to just, or my toes, I don't need to just keep hoarding shoes. So that's what I'm thinking. All right, let me know in the comment section down below what you're thinking I should keep. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and I will see y'all in my next one. Bye.